What is up guys? It's Razor. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. In the previous episode we started the game and in this episode we're going to explore Balam Garden. So here's the infirmary. You can't really do a whole lot here now. You can just talk to the doctor. That's about it. You can also play her at cards, but her cards are better than the cards that we have right now. So I'll have to come back later. And here we have the quad. And there's that girl that we met in the last episode. We'll learn who that is later. We don't know her name yet. And later we will though. Yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. Let's go check out the stage. I should probably use three times speed throughout the whole thing because there's no reason not to use three times speed. Interested. I'm interested. Come on, join the Garden Festival Committee. Sure. Woohoo, let's get to work. Has to be told what to do. Alright, let's go ahead and leave the quad. That's pretty much all we can do there for now. The next area is the cafeteria. And there's Seifer and his gang, or whatever you want to call him. Seifer and his group. His committee. Raijin and Fujin. <laughs> Kicked him in the leg. Hey, it's Z Oh wait, I almost said his name. We don't know who his name is yet. He always wants some hot dogs, but he never gets them. All right, so they take off. All in the ear. Yeah, she likes to talk, apparently. There ain't no telling where he's at. No more hot dogs today. All right, so over here, uh, there's actually a, the person in the back has a rare card that you can get. 
We'll be getting that rare card later. But he has his cards that he uses are per he uses better cards than what we have right now. So we'll have to come back later to battle him. Alright, so that was the cafeteria. Nothing more we can do there. Okay, here we have the dormitory. I don't think I don't think we can do anything here yet. Talk to these girls here, I guess. I think there is a magazine we can get here, though. Uh, but it might be in the other room. Oh, it might be later on in the game, too. Yeah, you can sleep here, too, if you need to. I don't know why you need to at this point, but you could. There's the parking lot. Nothing you can do here, I don't think. Yeah, there's nothing here. Not right now, anyway. Later there will be. Here we have the training ground. We will be going here now. I might as well junction, um... I should probably just add item here instead of magic because I don't have any magic right now anyway, so there... Well, I do have cure, actually. Yeah, I do have cure. Yeah, let's just add keep magic on there. I'll keep guardian force on there even though, well... I don't really need to summon the GF around here, so I guess I'll just put item. But yeah, you can basically summon GF if you have GFs if you have the GF set here. But yeah, we don't need to do that. Alright, let's enter the training ground. Alright, so there's two monster encounters in this area. A Grat and a T-Rex. If you encounter the T-Rex, hold R2 and L2 and run. It's just not possible to beat it right now. Not with just one character. We'll be able to beat it later on, of course. Here you can stock some blizzards. So we might as well do that. Alright, so here's the grad enemy. And we want to draw. And then hit stock. So now we have seven sleeps added to our inventory. And we can do the same thing for this spell over here as well. Alright, so three silences. Uh, so I want to max out on sleep and silence. And yeah, these things can put you to sleep as well, which is pretty annoying. I need to take out one of them before I start drawing. Actually, now that I think about it. Okay, so if I time Squall's attack properly, I can press the R1. And I'll do a critical attack if I do it correctly. I gotta time it just right. Oh, I didn't do it properly. I'm not sure if it's the R1 button. Yeah, it is the R1. 
See, there you go. I did a critical hit. I'm pretty good at doing it because I've played this game quite a bit. Obviously I don't do it every time, but most of the time I can do it. So you gotta time it perfectly. Now I failed again. Alright, let's continue to stock some sleeps. I'm gonna do three times speed when I go to draw stuff. I may have to stop to heal and stuff like that, but. Yeah, let me heal up a little bit here. And this is why I recommend having your cursor memory set to memory instead of a uh, default. So that way you automatically can keep, just keep drawing as soon as you get your turn just press X. Until you're maxed out on the uh, spell. You can stock up to 100 of each spell. And the higher your magic stat is the more you drain. You can drain a max of nine. Nine's the max you can stock it at one time. Okay, we're out of. We're maxed on sleep. When stock's all uh, darkened like that, it means you have max of it. So I don't have to stock sleep anymore. So now what I'm gonna do, since I've already maxed out on sleep, I showed you guys how it works. I'm going to do the same thing for silence. I'm going to max out silence as well. So I'll be right back whenever I have 100 silence. I'm just going to do it off screen because there's no point in showing it. You guys know how it works. you just seen me stock a bunch of sleep. And I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. So there's no point in showing it. Alright, so as you can tell here, I'm maxed out on silence as well. So I have 100 silence, and I have 100 sleep. So now we can take this thing out. There's no way I'm going to do a critical hit uh, with the uh, 3 times speed. I just I haven't got used to it enough. I can do the critical hit when it's normal speed though. But after battle you get EXP of course. And you also get AP for your GFs. And for card mod I need uh, 40 AP so I want to get that as soon as I can. Okay, now I can add sleep and silence to my stats. So I can add sleep to my magic or silence to my magic. They both add the same amount, so it doesn't matter. So there you go. Now I boost Squall's magic and his spirit. And that's pretty much all I want to do here. That's all I want to do at the training center for now. Like I said, do not battle that T-Rex right now. It's too hard. I mean, you could possibly beat it, but it would be like, it would take too long. So if you see the T-Rex, just run. Okay, it's better to use magic now since I have higher magic.
All right, took one of them down. Uh, later, I'm not going to really want to battle anything. I want to try to... Try to not battle, actually. But for right now, I do want to battle. Oh, crap, I got poison. Oh, I hate using remedies. That's all I have, though. That feels really bad, man. Yeah, these guys can flick poison on you, which is annoying. There we go, got him. Should level up here too. Oh, which is honestly not a good thing. You would think it's a good thing, but it's not a good thing. Oh, leveling up, leveling up is actually bad in this game. Now, because like I said in the last episode, the enemies level up as you level up. So the more you level up, the stronger the enemies are going to get. Now, I think it's only with enemies. I don't think bosses are the same way. I think bosses have a set level. Uh, I could be wrong about that, though. Uh, but it seems like bosses don't level up, though, like that. Bosses have a set level. But don't quote me on that. Because I'm not 100% sure. Student number 41269, raise your XP. Yes. The problem, child, what? Don't worry, I'll go see her soon. Chill, bro. As if I'm not mistaken, there's a hidden draw point around here somewhere. Yeah, right here. And you get the almighty Azuna. 14 Azunas, nice. Yeah, like I said earlier, the more magic you have, the more you draw from the... When you use the draw command. That's a good question. What did happen to the sorceress? I guess we'll find out later. Okay, thank you for telling me the rules. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's all we could do here, pretty much. Oh, wait a second. Probably. Alright, so we pretty much explored the entire Balam Garden except for the front gate. Yeah, he's talking about the 
CC group. They're a bunch of card maniacs. We'll be taking on each and every one of those later on. Much later on. Alright, let's head down to the front gate. Okay, so before we go to the gate, I f there's there is a a magazine in the library that I gotta get. I thought there was something in the library I had to get, but I wasn't sure. It's on the shelf. I don't remember where it's at though. I do remember getting it in my walkthrough though, but I don't remember where it was at. Maybe it's over this way. Just basically pressing X everywhere. Come on, stop talking. What's that? As of now, I'm just literally pressing the X button everywhere. I guess I'll cut the video here until I find it. Yeah, there is a book I'm looking for. It's called The Occult Fan. Where's it at? I'll find it eventually. Alright, so it's like right here where this girl is standing. But, uh, she's in the way. You need to move. Probably have to leave and come back. Maybe she'll be gone. Get out of my way! Maybe we gotta leave the whole entire library and then come back. Why are you still here? Go away! Maybe we can't get it till later. Are you kidding me? I don't know if there's a way to get it with her right there or not. It's the problem. Because I'm actually talks to her instead of trying to get the th the, the magazine. And apparently she doesn't leave.
Oh, let's go meet Quistus, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I can get it later. Let me try again. Let me, I backed out, so let's see. Yeah, she's still there. I don't know what to do about it. Maybe if I save and reload the game, maybe she'll be gone. Because I don't think she was there when we first went in there. Pretty annoying though. I wish you'd leave. I'd like to get it now before I forget about it. Ugh. Alright, I guess I'll come back later. Hope I don't forget. Because I have a bad memory. That's one thing about nowadays playing games is I forget things. It was a lot easier to 100% things back in the day because I always would remember things. But my memory has gone really, gotten really bad. Alright, but yeah, I'm pretty much going to end the video here. After we're done talking to Quistus. Alright, so she's going to give us a tutorial. We're going to skip ahead through this as fast as I can. Okay, there we go. We can just skip it. Nice. So I don't have to listen to that stupid tutorial. I believe on the original game you had to watch that entire... You had to skip... The, you couldn't skip to that tutorial. So you had to go through the entire tutorial. And it was just dumb. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll head to the fire cavern. Later.